Hello world. I am now 11 and a half weeks pregnant and I have accumulated a little bit of baby stuff. So I wanted to share my first baby stuff haul with you. Most of the items are clothes. They are neutral clothes because we don't know if it's a boy or girl yet, though I do believe that color is not gendered and a boy can be in pink and a girl can be in blue and that's all good. But my aesthetic is generally more neutral anyway. I am what some might call a sad beige mom. So here are some of the things that I have picked up for baby thus far. I just picked up this boppy yesterday from a secondhand store and I am so excited about this. It is the exact pattern that I wanted, which of course isn't necessary, but it's just a nice little perk to have things that you find visually aesthetic. If you're unfamiliar with boppies, they are nursing pillows and you can also use them when the baby is older to help them sit up or for tummy time. Um, and they're just a great supportive pillow. And I got that boppy for $25, I believe, which I think is a pretty good find. I am so excited to read stories to my little one and make up stories and sing and just be creative and help them learn and get a great imagination. So one of the first things I picked up at the secondhand store was this book, I Love You Night and Day. It's just a very cute little illustrated board book about how much you love your little one. Now this is one of the only things that I have purchased new and I got this from Barnes and Noble and it is a pregnancy slash baby memory book. The binding is this like linen textured fabric and it's just really beautiful. You can add your family tree, information about the parents, what it's like to be pregnant, and of course all of the milestones once the baby is actually born. I think this will be an awesome keepsake book to have to pass down to my baby when they are older. I did get one itsy ritzy silicone pacifier clip at the secondhand store, though as you can see it is still in the packaging, so brand new. This was $6.99, which I'm pretty sure is the price you would pay at a regular store, but it's okay. I think this was labeled as a car seat cover, but it is more of a muslin blanket, but it has these beautiful colored feathers on it and it will be great as a blanket, burp cloth, and car seat cover, I think. I stand corrected. This is the car seat cover. It has this lovely botanical blue pattern on it and it is stretchy, it has a zipper, and it will be a very cute addition to the car seat. There are small holes in the fabric, which is great because it's breathable and I don't want to cut off air circulation to the baby in the car seat. The last non-clothes item that I have purchased so far for the baby is this carrier. It's more of a heavy duty kind of hiking carrier. And we do a lot of hiking, so I'm excited to strap on the baby and carry them around and show them the world and give them a love of nature just like we have. It is convertible and converts into four different positions. It is for babies that weigh 8 to 32 pounds. You can wear it with the headrest up, the headrest down facing forward, facing backward, and I believe on your back as well. Now onto the cutest stuff, the baby clothes. I have gotten a lot of newborn sizes, but I'm trying to also get three to six months, six to nine months, so our little bean doesn't have a million newborn outfits and then grow out of them and then have nothing to wear. Though I know we are probably going to be getting a lot more at the baby shower because clothes are 
generally the most fun to buy. So that's what I usually get people when I go to baby showers. But this is the first thing that I purchased for our little baby. And I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I got it before I was pregnant. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. It's so cute. And this is what I plan on taking the baby home from the hospital in with some other layers. It's just this precious gray and white simple striped onesie. And I don't know, I just, when I saw it, I immediately knew that's what I was going to take home my baby in. Hopefully it fits the baby when they are born. And I did get 10 of these onesies at the secondhand store for a dollar each. Again, this is a very simple pattern, just a tan onesie with some gold triangles on it. You'll notice a trend that I like simple geometric patterns in neutral colors. This one is a white onesie with black dots across it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm usually not big on animal prints, but this one was just so simple and I liked the black and white and just like drawing style of the animals. Now, I am a stripe lady. I love stripes on myself. I'm gonna love stripes on my baby. And I know I have the white and gray striped onesie, but this one's white and navy blue stripes and it has the cutest little pocket on there. I know pockets are kind of pointless on baby clothes, but they're just so cute. Here is another gray onesie with triangles on it and a plain dark gray onesie, a white onesie with blue circles and triangles and arrows on it, a funky sort of Aztec print, and this is three to six months. I did get a bow that I thought was baby sized, but that would probably fit my head. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be using this for the baby. <laughs> Also, like I mentioned, we don't know if it's a boy or girl yet. We will be finding out in a couple weeks, so stay tuned for that gender reveal video. It's going to be very exciting. This is my favorite find at a thrift store. This is a Nirvana onesie. I love Nirvana, and I love the idea of band tees on a baby. Oh, just so cute! Now, baby's going to be due at the end of May 2024, so it might be really warm, it might be cool, you never really know in Michigan. So I do have this precious burnt orange sweater with raised bumps on it that I can take baby home in from the hospital if it's chilly. I did pay a little bit more for this one at the secondhand store. It was $4.50, but I couldn't resist. Another thing I couldn't resist was this crocheted style gray sweater with little ears on it. I am a sucker for anything with little animal ears or feet or anything like that on it. This is size three to six months as well. I got a couple sleepwear items and since baby will be arriving right before summer kicks off, I didn't want something too heavy to sleep in. So I found this lightweight rainbow sleeper and the bottom ties for easy access for diaper changes in the middle of the night, which is awesome. And I got one more sleeper with long sleeves in this white color with gray stars on it. And the bottom is elastic, which is also great for easy access during nighttime diaper changes. I have gone shopping with my mom a few times and she has picked up some really cute things and I'm going to show just a couple of those. Now she is a lot more into the traditional pink girly clothes and blue trucks for boys and things like that. So I let her have fun and pick out a couple outfits that she enjoyed for boy or girl. So this first sleeper is pretty neutral and I love the little tree patterns on it and I feel like zippers are a lot easier for diaper changes than buttons but I could be wrong. I am a first time mom so I don't know yet. My mom loves sailboats and she found this very cute little light blue 
romper with sailboats on it so we just knew that she had to get this one i am a sucker for baby clothes with fruit on it for some reason so this sweet little navy blue dress onesie with watermelon on it seems perfect for a picnic in the summer with our little newborn and last but not least this little dress is so sweet and I love the moon pattern on it, which is perfect because the nursery is going to be galaxy themed. So that is my haul of baby items that I have acquired thus far in my pregnancy. I'm sure I will be making more of these videos as we get more fun things along the way. So thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you want to come along my pregnancy journey with me and see lots of fun videos along the way.